Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and more. And today we're going to talk about this doll here. And her, a lady named Shirley Horn said to me, I think this doll was called Calico Lassie. And she reminds me of a Cindy doll. Well, let's talk about that, and that's that's a very interesting topic. Back during the turn of the 1900s, uh, a cereal company called Kellogg's would give away free things with their cereal. You could send in something and get something back, and they did this all the way through. You know, I imagine, I don't know if they're doing it today. I'm not a big cereal, Kellogg cereal eater today. I eat some, but... Um, I don't pay attention to that like children did back we did back when we were children. But anyhow, as that may be, during the 1960s, out came a wonderful show. I loved it as a kid. I still own today. It's the Beverly Hillbillies. And a, 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 lady, a young lady back then named Donna Douglas played in a role called Ellie Mae Clampett. She was the young daughter of the father who struck oil, and we all know how the story goes. And she was a very beautiful young lady, and she could go from tomboy to a princess in a matter of seconds, and you just were wowed by her. But one of the things that happened was is that Kellogg's came out with a doll, this, this doll here called Calico Lassie. Now, why didn't they not call her Ellie Mae Clampett? Well, the thing is, they didn't have copyrights to her. They came out with a doll that suggested it. We could put in quotation marks that she was Ellie Mae Clampett, but they never did call her that. She was called Calico Lassie. And so anyways, um, you could go on the back of a box or the side of the box of the cereal that the child was eating from, and you could send away for this doll. And this doll cost $2. And with $2, you got the doll and two sets of clothing. And if you put in an extra dollar, you could get another set of clothing. Now, there were six sets of clothing that came with her. I have altogether three sets of clothing. I have her, her flannel pajamas. And they came with accessories. I don't have the accessories. And I have her hoop nanny dress. Now she also came with a hoop nanny uh, with scarecrows all over it. I I, I want to say I have it, but I can't find it if I did. I mean, I I got I know where my clothes are, but I just at this time I'm I got other things going on. But if I find it, I'm going to do an update and show all her clothing. I like to get them all. I like to get um, the accessories that go with them. But right now, not today, but I got two of them here. But let's talk about something about this. Now, she had this wonderful um, little dress here. And as I was looking at her, I thought, I want to just see what she's all about. So what I did was I pulled off her dress, or pulled her off the stand, and pulled down um, I wanted to see her body structure and what, how she was, um, you know, any marks or anything that I didn't see maybe when I bought her. Because I hadn't given my um, opinion about her yet on face on eBay. So I came on and all of a sudden I seen she had the little orange panties which go with this dress here. And I went, well, there we go. I had the dress. I knew there was a pair of panties that went with this dress, but I didn't have them. Now I do. So I actually have a full set for the clothing part not the little accessories that came with this so anyways I do have the panties that go with it so that was nice but I have to say something else about her this doll here when she was being made and we'll put her back on her stand she became a clone of another doll well what doll would that be well I'm going to bring her right over to the table and we're going to talk about who she's a clone of she's a clone of the Tammy doll now, what is a clone? What is a clone? It's a doll that suggests to be like another doll. It may not have all the features of that doll, but it will c contain a big percentage. It might have just some slight differences from eyelashes to fingers. If we were to look at Tammy's fingers, all her fingers are separated on her. She has her separated fingers. Every finger is separated. Where on Ellie Mae here, not so true. She has her three fingers in the center. They are plastic together. And Ellie Mae's construction is of a different, bit cheaper plastic, but still well put together doll. So, putting that all together, Tammy's a lot better. Okay, so, taking all that into uh, consideration, you know, she, it, she has some similarities to Tammy and, she, and to the Cindy doll. So, Shirley Horn, you're, you're correct. It brought up in this article that I was reading about. It showed the Cindy doll and the Tammy doll right side by side. Why? Because Cindy is also off the, the, the mold of Tammy as well. They all have some type of a rela relationship between one another. So I thought that was all very interesting. One last interesting fact that I'm going to share with you is, is her shoes. I'm big on shoes because you want your doll complete. 
Those shoes do not belong to Ellie Mae. They actually belong to Tammy. Those are Tammy's tennis shoes. So my take is from wherever she came from, I'm going to guess. Okay, that either they owned a Tammy doll and they don't have her anymore, so they just stuck the shoes on, or they did have the Tammy doll sold her, but not knowing those were Tammy's shoes and just stuck her on to give, make her complete, whatever the case may, might have been. I don't know. But I can say this. The, I will find her her shoes, and those shoes will go back to Tammy later on. Not today, maybe not tomorrow just yet, but they will go back to Tammy as I find... Um, Cal Calico Lassie, or quotation marks, Ellie Mae Clampett, she will get her shoes in time. Those things come in a matter of time. So I thought I'd share this with you. Some great information. It's nice to know this information about our dolls. It's history about them. So if you're looking at where you might want to buy one, just remember, she's not really Ellie Mae Clampett because of copyright problems. They Kell Kellogg's cereals could not call her that. So they had to you know, give up, a, like, create a different name for her to suggest that's what they were doing. When this doll came out, she did come out with a pair of jeans, blue jeans, where she had the rope that tied up like Ellie Mae did with the blue shirt. So, you know what they were hinting towards. So, that should close that off there. So, if you're going to buy yourself one of these dolls, just remember, this is, her real name is Calico Lassie. Quotation marks, Ellie Mae Clampett. So we'll leave it at that for you. Great information. History <coughs> on our dolls. So have a great day. Pa! Pa! Granny's breaking the code of the hills. What do you mean, young'un? How is she breaking the code of the hills? I didn't hear her turning in her, her family to the revenueers. No, Granny wants to cook my raccoon for dinner. No, Granny, we'll just have greens and grits. Thank you, Pa. You're my hero. That's okay, young'un. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. And y'all come back now here.